Hi friends, welcome back to Brewing Thought. We are doing a playlist on how to use Azure Logic Apps to integrate with Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. In this video, we will have a look in at how we can import files in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations using recurring API pattern. Now, uh, in this particular video, we will use a CSV file to push into a recurring API. I have talked briefly about recurring API in my previous video where we did the export scenario. And in this video, we will look at the import scenario. So I'll quickly share my screen and we'll go through some of the basics first. So the recurring API is based on file based exchange where we can enqueue a file uh, into Dynamics blob storage from Logic Apps. And then basically there is a batch process running within finance and operations uh, uh, under the data management platform, which reads the file as soon as it's placed uh, at a particular frequency and then it basically processes it. So the NQ API is basically having a structure, uh, which is this, the API for import is NQ where we have to use the base URL followed by the NQ command followed by the activity ID and the entity name. So let's have a look in Dynamics what setup is needed. So we have created a data project of type import. Uh, we are using customer groups entity th throughout this playlist. So we are using that same data project which we created in our previous videos. What we have to do is we have to click on manage, go to manage recurring data jobs and create a new record here. Now when we create a new record, a new activity ID is assigned to that particular record. We have to define the application ID which we are using for authorizing our call from Logic App. And we can also enable few parameters to process messages in order. And here we define whether we are going to consume the uh, input as a file or as a data package. For this scenario, I'm using a CSV file. We also have to enable the recurring job in order for Dynamics Batch Framework to continu continuously uh, pull the blob storage, which comes as a part of the uh, product. And here, we can define the recurrence at what frequency we want to run it. So for this demo, I'm running it at every minute. Uh, so this is the setup which happens in Dynamics. This is the activity ID which we have to uh, use in the NQ call. Now in the NQ call, what we also have to take care is that we have to pass the message body uh, as the stream. So the data which we want to pass goes as a memory stream. So it really doesn't matter if it's a CSV file or a zip file, you still have to pass the whole whole file as a memory uh, stream. So let's start with the first call. So now because we need the file, what I have done is uh, I have created a customer groups CSV file in the blob storage uh, and we have placed it at the inbound container. So this file is uh, basically just a text file of uh, what we want to send to Dynamics. So it's basically an export of what we created earlier and then I'm just pushing the same data back so that it updates the, the records. Let's close this. Um, so what we will do is in the logic app, the first step is we will first read the blob storage. So for that, we will use Azure blob storage action and we will use the action as get blob content where we will define the Azure storage connection and the blob, which is basically the file. And what we will then do is start uh, configuring a HTTP call, which is of type post, and we change it to NQ. Now in the URL, we have to give the base Dynamics URL followed by the NQ command. And after the NQ command, we have to give the activity ID, which we can copy from Dynamics here. So we copy the activity ID as this. 
and after the activity ID, we have to pass the name of the entity which we are pushing. So we have to add the entity name which we we can basically get from the data project, which is this customers group. So now we have added the initialize the post method. Then in the body, we have to pass the memory stream so we can basically pick the file contents here and then we have to add our authentication. So here we will define the OAuth credentials using which we will authenticate our call. Now once this is done, uh, we will add a wait timer for let's say 30 seconds just to give enough time to Dynamics to consume and process the file. And then what we will do is we, we can actually check the status of this file. So what happens is when we enqueue the file uh, in the response, we get an execution ID and in order for us to check the status of that execution ID, we can call the message status API, which is basically get message status. So what we will do is we will call this uh, along and this is also a post call. So we create a new HTTP call, which we say check status and the method is post. Here we use the base URL followed by the message get get message status. And here in the body, what we have to do is we have to pass the message ID. So we can copy the message ID. And in our case, the message ID is the response which we will get from the NQ call. So here we can add the body of the NQ call as the body which is going in the check status post method call then we will add our authentication add the OAuth credentials and that is pretty much it so what we will do is we will basically uh, run this app and in Dynamics, let's see uh, at the history of the recurring data job. So we can look at the manage messages where we can see these are the past messages. So let's queue in a new one. So let's run this logic app. Now when we have run it, we will be able to basically see here that a new file has been pushed and the message status is queued. Now, as we will refresh, we can see how the message is processed as it basically goes through the data management framework steps. Here in the logic app, we can see we have done the post method with the data and the output return us the execution ID, which is actually same as this message ID here. So if we refresh, we can see that the file is is still queued. Let's wait for some time. I think I use it as 30 minute. Uh, so here we can see the file has been processed. So unfortunately, I have done it as 30 minutes, so we'll have to cancel the execution somehow. Let me go and cancel it. This is running and we cancel the run. One, two, three. So before running it, uh, let me just uh, fix the delay timer to 
let's say one minute. Save it. And let's run the logic app. Now, when we run, we will see that a new file has been queued into the system. And if we look at the NQ response, we can see that the body is having a message ID, which is same as the message ID which we have seen in Dynamics. Now, as the message will progress in Dynamics Data Management Framework, the status will change from queue to pre-processing to processing. In the meantime, uh, we can look at the wait. We have changed the wait to one minute. So let's wait for a minute. And if I'll try to keep refreshing this screen so that we can see as the message status changes, we can see the status is in process now. And let's keep an eye and and we can see that the message has been processed in dynamics. We can look at the execution detail where it can tell us that uh, yep, all the 11 reports are updated. Now back to logic app, we have our one minute timer and the check status call has. We have sent the message ID and the output is processed. So this way we can actually import files in finance and operations using recurring API patterns. Um, so thank you for watching this video, guys, and I really appreciate all the support and the feedback I'm getting from the community. Do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share your feedback and let me know what other topics you would like me to cover. Stay tuned and take care. Bye.